Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org, and they have an article, Deer Resistant Plants and Trees That Are Still Edible for Humans. I live in Michigan, and there are a lot of deer around here, and they can devastate a farm or a garden plot. That's the case in many parts of the world, if not with deer, with many other animals. And a lot of animals rely on their sense of smell to find their next meal. So a lot of these plants that are resistant to animals and pests are very pungent. Herbs and spices, for example. They talk about leeks and onions and that family of plants. Garlics and whatnot. Um, also, you know, oregano, rosemary, thyme, dill, all these in the culinary herbs. Uh, wormwood, I'm told, has very good properties for repelling deer. You can use it in uh, drinks, beverages, beers, that sort of thing. Artichokes, lavender nightshades they're like tomatoes and uh, peppers it's just the way it is sometimes deer will eat tomato plants so that's up in the air rhubarb also very well very good for detracting deer maybe not the best tasting vegetable out there ginkgo biloba tree now you gotta have the right soil conditions they're very slow growing trees but they do repel deer fig as well honey locust you can get some uh, beans which are the seeds uh, off of honey locust trees, I believe, but there's not a whole lot else that is edible, and they make a whole bunch of mess, but they're fast growing, and they're nitrogen fixing, so you can use those leaves in the compost pile, help add some good nitrogen to the soil, or to your compost, pawpaws, they uh, sometimes called the custard apple, and it is a very good tasting fruit, they can make wines and jellies, jams, or just heat the fruit whole right off the tree, persimmons and sugar maples, making some good maple syrup, of course, Deer, they forage mostly in the mornings and in the evenings. And you might be able to catch them with trail cams. You might be able to keep them away with certain uh, sprays. Pepper sprays, uh, urine sprays, all that sort of stuff might work. It might just be temporary, though. Every deer herd is a little different depending on how much forage they have. They mostly spend their entire lives in a one square mile area. So if your garden is one of their only forage spots... You might have a tough time trying to get rid of them. You might have to put up a 10-foot fence. Because even then, some deer can jump a 10-foot fence. Well, anyway, if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to read more about this, please uh, click on the link in the description. Have a great day.